What is going on guys? This is Tech here. If you guys don't know who I am, I'm an owner of Team Pulsar. In this video, we're going to go over crucial details and information of what it takes to join Team Pulsar. Stay tuned. All right, guys. So before we jump straight into the video here, I want to go over the several different categories that we have here at Team Pulsar, which consists of a creative team. We have a content team. We have a stream team first person shooters, trick shotting, comp, VFX, GFX, and staff. Um, if any of those are something that you guys were interested in getting into, make sure you watch the video out so that you guys can see experts in their field explain to you exactly what they want to see in order to join. Um, before we get further, I want to make sure that you guys are liking, commenting, subscribing, turning on post notifications so you guys never miss a video. And right now I'm just going to pass it off to Mighty so he can tell you what he wants to see in creative. Alright, what's up guys? It's Mighty from the Pulsar Creative Ross. So I'm going to be talking to you guys about how you can join Pulsar as a creative player. First of all, we want to see you post clips and montages that will show how mechanically gifted you are, as well as unique and different builds that will make you stand out from the competition and prove that you deserve to be on the roster. For example, players like PSR, Fish, Clayto, and Juju and others on our creative roster. We really want to see creativity when it comes to our creative players. And that's pretty much it. Take it away, Sai. Thank you, Mighty. To join the content creation team, try to make overall unique videos, original stuff, no copying off of bigger creators. Now, you may be asking, what does it mean to make a unique video? Well, this doesn't always mean montages. You can make challenge videos, you can make funny moments. There are plenty of ways to make unique content. For example, we have videos where we made skits, such as the Pulsar Christmas video. Additionally, doing real life content and mixing it with gaming is a great way to join as a content creator. So if you want to take anything away from what I just said, just be unique. Now without any delay, take it away Kerlak. Thank you Sai, my name is Kerlak, I am the lead streamer for Pulsar. Uh, now to join the stream team, there's a few things that we're looking for. Uh, we want to make sure that you guys are serious about streaming. Um, and being a streamer for Pulsar. So one of those things is being an affiliate. Uh, that's just gonna show us that you guys have put in time uh, into streaming and made it that far already um, that you wanna take this serious. On top of that, we're looking for positive streamers uh, with a good community. You're gonna be representing Pulsar. We wanna just make sure that you guys are gonna be representing Pulsar in the right way. Uh, now it's not required, but it is recommended to have a webcam. A webcam is just going to set you apart from everybody else and it's going to help you grow as a streamer anyways having a webcam on uh, your streaming platform so might as well do it there's a bunch of free ways you can get webcams uh, even just using your phone as a webcam can work as well uh, now streaming no lower than 720 quality um, we do recommend having 1080 we get it not everybody can stream in 1080 though so if you're running 720 make sure you have high enough bit rate that your stream does look good still um, also having a consistent stream schedule, sticking to that stream schedule is definitely going to help you grow as a streamer. And uh, we also, one of the things that we look for um, when we're looking at new recruits. Um, and then having a professional looking stream. It doesn't have to be anything crazy. You don't have to have a bunch of stuff on your stream that usually doesn't look good anyways. But something as basic as you're seeing on the screen right now is typically what I run on my streams. I do have a few extra things like uh, rotating alerts, um, but other than that, basic webcam border, nothing cluttering, looks good, looks professional. Uh, so those are the main things that we are looking for when we're looking at new streamers. Uh, now, if you feel like those fit what your stream is and what you um, represent, then DM me what your Twitch is and what your stream schedule is. That way we can check you guys out. Um, but now we're gonna be handing it over to our trick shot lead, Sinlu. Hey guys, it's Sinlu, lead trick shotter for Pulsar. And here is a few tips on how you can join as a Fortnite trick shotter. To join Pulsar as a trick shotter, we recommend having slow-mo in your trick shots. We also recommend you having 1080p quality trick shots as well. If not, no worries. If you can support 720p if you're on console, that is okay. Also, you must have a way to send your clips to a Google Drive for future team touches or videos. Best way to join is by being unique against the competitions. Go for harder shots that not a lot of people hit. We don't like seeing the same thing over, over, and over. For example, 
be unique with your shot. So for example, you can do is hitting a shot off the Repulsor logo. That is 100% A-OK. -okay. That is all, and I hope y'all have a wonderful day. And now for Chipmunk. Hey guys, it's Chipmunk, and I'm representing Postal for Comp. So for our standards, you must have PS on your name, and you must have consistently placed in tournaments. And if you're interested in joining, make sure you DM me or Swerve your Fortnite tracker. Hey guys, it's Modern here, and I'm representing the Postal side of VFX and GFX. So basically what we're looking for when it comes to vfx and gfx is just being unique being different and really standing out you know we want to see pure quality we don't want to see uh low bit rate videos we don't want to see low res pictures low res thumbnails you know we want to see you give it all your efforts so make sure when it comes to the rcs or if you want to join it in general just give it your best and produce your best quality content and you know we want to see uniqueness in every way possible so make sure you uh, try to stand out in everything you do and don't look at anyone else so, so yeah when it comes to vfx and gfx just stand out and be unique so now i'm going to hand it over to coco as she talks about the management for pulsar hello it's coco head of management for team pulsar and i'm going to be telling you guys how you can join pulsar as a manager being a part of our management requires a lot of behind the scenes work that a lot of people don't see so you must be willing to put in a great amount of time and effort into helping run the team and coordinate events a few things we look for in a manager is having previous experience in management and a professional and detailed resume. If you think you have the potential in joining, feel free to shoot us a DM on our Instagram at PulsarGGs. Hello everyone, my name is Pulsar Zero. I am the owner of Pulsar Academy and I'm going to let you guys know some quick tips and details on how you can join Pulsar Academy. So starting off with number one, creativity and uniqueness, making sure that you guys are creative and you're doing things that nobody has ever done before will really stand out to us. Number two, being consistent, showing us that you guys are grinding full-fledged for Pulsar really improves your chances. And number three, make sure you guys are using hashtag Pulsar Future in all your upcoming posts. That's all I have for now. Take it away, Tuck. If you guys have made it this far in the video, I wanted to say thank you guys for all of your support. Uh, if you guys are interested in joining the team, make sure you're putting hashtag Pulsar Stars under all your videos so you can be noticed by us. Um, we'll see you guys in the next video.